tomorrow. Call Putnam County Fire. I want a pump out there. I want a box with a sieve. How long have you known about that horse? We were trying to decide whether or not to tell you. We didn't know if you'd be able to handle it. Didn't know if I'd be able to handle it. Since when are decisions like that made for me? And who the hell is we? The rest of the group? Norma? Who? Me. You. Made a decision that had a direct and critical bearing on a homicide investigation because, in your judgment, I couldn't handle it. I want an explanation. I thought it was the best thing. You thought. Your thinking is confined to forensic science, to computers and test tubes, not policy decisions. That is not yours to make. I was thinking about what was best for you. I am not a child, Alan. I am your boss. You're my friend. I'm sorry if I made no, it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I guess I'm in over my head, Alan. I'm scared. I'd be lying to you if I told you I wasn't. And I'm sorry uh, uh, what I said about the computer and the test tube. Forget it. Would you go out there with me tomorrow? I could use your help. of the law. I demand that he cease and desist and that you are uh, 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 arrest him for violating a court order. Bishop, you best calm down. He's got a warrant to search and the court rescinded the restraining order. On what grounds? I demand to know on what grounds. Cruelty to animals. What? One of your horses died of malnutrition. We're out here looking for evidence of additional violations. In my pawn? If I had committed such an offense, which I have not, the last place I... I have conducted baptisms in this pond. It is cleansing water. I would never befoul it. You befouled it when you stepped into it. I have nothing but pity in my heart, Mr. Grayson. You are truly insane. thing hooked back up.
This looks like it might just fit on the tub we confiscated from your property. It would probably fit any one of a thousand tubs, that seems to me. Another charge with absolutely no substance Her made mother. by a man who a positive idea that... toward me and my work. She but made this. She made one like this for her mother. I know something of the law. Wanda Bolin is the law. Wanda Bolin! Wes! Shut the pump down. No forensic anthropologist. You don't have to be. Finger. Pointing at you. He admitted it. And you no. did it. He's not fucking You did it. it well, you son of a bitch. You killed them, and I'm gonna nail you. What are you waiting for? You got the evidence. You did it. Mr. Grace, I'm placing you in arrest for suspicion of murder. I'm innocent before the Lord. I am innocent before the Lord. Uh, Wes Grayson, Doctor Sutton. Pleasure, Doctor. Oh, I hear you're a madman with a sack of bones. <laughs> no sack of bones, anyway. We appreciate your help. Prefer to keep the evidence in one place, but of course, if you'd rather take it back to your office. Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. No, I have my things here. This will work out just fine. Tell me, Doctor, uh, can we get something out of uh, out of this? Wes, he's been the head of paleontology at the National Museum for 32 years. Cranium metatarsus femur. Hmm. It's all very straightforward, you know, very straightforward. No teeth? No. We didn't recover any. Ah. Uh, yeah, that will make it difficult. But you can still identify the body. Axe. Pardon? Yeah, an axe. Uh, blunt tool. Cut up pretty well. <laughs> uh, you found these in a river bit? A pond. Pond? Ah, yeah. Yes. I see. They uh, smell like stagnant water, you know. <laughs> Have that bacterial smell. It stinks to high heaven. Here, smell. Yeah, you know, very light in this room. Is there any chance I could get it darker? I think we can take care of that. Good. Doctor, what we need to do here is construct a body or bodies from these fragments, something I can present in court. Now, I'm sorry to be so impatient, but can you tell us, will you be able to do that? Oh, definitely got enough here for a body. Quite possibly two. Sex, height, weight, specific characteristics unknown. Easy go, connect to them. Dry bones, easy go, connect to them. Dry bones, easy go, connect to them. Dry bones, now hear the word of the Lord. You have medical records of the two girls you're looking for? Yes, we do, Jim. Uh, no, no, don't show me. I like to see how close I get. He's a fruitcake. You sure about this guy? Wes, he's lectured all over the world. He's one of the leading practitioners of paleontology today. Yeah, but can I put him on a stand? Yeah, he's testified before. He's odd, but he's good. Hey, why don't you go get yourself some sleep? Some place other than the mission really can't sleep. Well, then why don't you at least try to convince yourself that those bones are in good hands, because they are. We'll get some rest. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? How's our paleontologist doing with the bone fragments? He's working them. Expert witness? If, uh, if not a little eccentric. Oh, eccentric's okay. If, if guided properly, it can add a... An extra layer of credibility. Gosh. I guess my only real concern is reasonable doubt. I mean, I got to convince 12 people that uh, a man of Grace's irreproachable reputation for community service is capable of the brutal murder and dismemberment of two young women. That Wanda and Lena Bolin aren't in California making porn flicks. That the, the floor, the tub, and, and 750 bone fragments 
all add up to Bishop Grace killing Wanda Lena Boland beyond a reasonable doubt. Bishop Grace is guilty. You know that. And your arguments will bear that out in court. What I'm talking about here, Mary, is confidence. Your confidence. Just because a man goes through the motions doesn't mean that he's truly a man of God. His morals are no more beyond reproach than yours or mine. He's a mortal man. He has chinks in his armor. Weaknesses like everyone else. You will peel back those weaknesses in court before that jury and attack them. What weaknesses? The man is a pillar of strength. A pillar he hides behind. His weaknesses lie in his soul. His weaknesses are in his inability to recognize the fact that the robes that he wears are wrapped around the body of a man. A man with needs and desires. Desires that ultimately led to the murder of those two women. And you will draw the weaknesses for the men and women of that jury by establishing his ongoing relationship with prostitutes. I can deliver to you a man who has seen Bishop Grace with a woman I saw baptized in his church. The woman was a known prostitute, and so was Glenona's daughter. Well, that means she's going to have to take the stand to testify to that. Well, she can't. Well, why not? She, uh... She doesn't know him. I hadn't heard from you for a few days. I read the papers. They called you a jackass. I have half a mind to stop buying the damn thing. You hungry? Can I fix you something to eat? Oh, no. No, thank you. No, no. It's okay, Wes. If I hadn't already believed in my heart that wherever they are is better than in that man's control, I don't think I could accept it. I'm taking this one thing at a time. That's good. That's good. You put him away for now, anyway. But you're gonna put him away for good, aren't you? We're going to try. It's going to be a long, hard-fought battle. A lot of it's going to be very painful. I understand that. I do take comfort in knowing that my girls are with God. I promised I wouldn't do this. No, no, no. Just let it go. They never hurt a soul. They were fine girls. The whole world in front of them. It's possible. I would like to have Wanda's cross. Well, that's a very important piece of evidence in the case. I'm sure once the trial is over, you know. I understand. I just, it would mean so much to me. I want to give them a, a proper Christian burial. Children have open and innocent, deserve to go from our hands to God's in a proper Christian way. What is it? What's wrong, Wes? Lenona. Within the scope of this trial, it's going to be very important for us to establish other relationships that Bishop Grace had in his life. Relationships that may have uh, led him to do what we believe he did. 